Well, um, today I was going to work on the belts, um, but I couldn't um, put them on because um, my dad had picked up the wrong ones. Um, they're the right sizes, but they're just not the right thickness. Um, these are actually way too thick. So, um, these belts here cost $27.95. Um, so these are going to go back um, tomorrow. And I'll have my dad tell him that they're going to be a little bit thinner. He got half inch. Uh, that's supposed to be like the next size down. It's supposed to be like an eighth less than that. Whatever. I don't know what the, the fraction is. Just the random door opening. Okay. Um, but yeah. So now I got to... Pretty much, um, forget about the belts today. I guess it's going to be in a three-part series. Um, but I guess I can do the, uh, carburetor and stuff like that. Just adjust the carburetor, clean the carburetor, do the oil and stuff like that. Uh, change out the spark plug, because I do have a spark plug somewhere. Um, but yeah. So the day's not a whole loss. Um, it's pretty cold in here. And, uh, yeah. I guess I'm just going to work on the carburetor and, uh, Change the oil and the spark plug. So, without no further ado, let's start rocking. Alright, I got the carburetor off. I just cleaned that up. Um, definitely a cleaner. It looked like the guy had some rocks or something inside of it, so that's all cleaned up now. I'm getting ready to do the little tiny jet right in there. Little tiny thing. i do that next. Um, I got the oil just slowly starting to drip out now. Uh, I already filled up half the bucket. It was pretty much low on oil, so just pop that open too. Some more air going there. Crap. Anyway, get that off. Um, if you notice, on these uh, certain certain types of Tecumseh carburetors, I've noticed have this little cap on it. Um, getting ready to pop it off in a second here. It's gonna find a screwdriver. Uh, nope. Nope. This might work. Notice right in there, where all the guck is, uh, there's a little tiny cap. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this off. Right there. Can I see it? Oop, there it goes right there. Now that cap, you definitely want to keep. Uh, let me see if I can find it where it just dropped to. Usually with two hands I'll have one under it, but uh, give me a second here. All right, I got the uh, the carburetor off. Um, looks like the guy had some rocks or something in it, but it's all cleaned up now. Uh, a little bit more right there. Looks like I'm gonna spray out, but and that looks pretty good. Um, here's the little needle jet right here. Um, stick that on top of there. Just gonna stick a little piece of wire brush right through in that little hole right there, and then right in there, just clean out the guck and stuff in there. Um, so that's it for that. And then. On these, um, on these types of carburetors, certain types of Tecumseh carburetors, they have a little needle, um, with a little needle jet right in there. Um, some of them will have this little cap on it, which is this little thing right here. Um, you definitely want to put that back on because if you don't, um, then the machine will start not idling right and it'll start going. Whoa, whoa. So uh, you definitely want to always have that on there. Um, I got the oil draining right now. Looks like it's pretty much finished. It's had a little drip right now. But, um, yeah. Starting to warm up here a little bit now. Um, turn off the heat. And, um, I got just the air flowing, so it's not too, too cold. Um, but yeah, there's, there's actually a little better view of the, of the cap. <laughs> That's another thing I'm planning on uh, buying in the spring. I want to buy um, a new compressor and I want to buy a new um, toolbox because that one there is pretty much shit the bed. Um, I've had that one now for a year and I've had the compressor now for a year. And I want a bigger compressor uh, so I can run my impact gun and stuff off of it. And I want a toolbox because that one's just like falling apart and shit. Um, that one there I bought at Sears. Uh, but I'm not going to go up there and return it. I mean, it's just a piece of shit. It's like the third one I've had, and they just don't last. So I'm going to try. Uh, my uncle just picked a nice one up out at uh, Harbor Freight a few weeks ago. 
It's like a three-tiered box for like 160 bucks, something like that. It's pretty nice. So I might pick that up in the summer. Nothing, not yet, but anyway. But, um, yeah. Just gonna finish cleaning this thing up. The carburetor, bolt it back on. I'm getting ready to throw some oil in it so we can start it up and I can adjust the uh, screws and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, bolted on pretty nicely. All the gaskets look like they're in good shape, so I didn't need replacing. Um, got a few of those upstairs. Let's check out the oil. Nice and black, eh? Look at that. Oh yeah, like maple syrup. You want know, some coffee? Some cold juice? Oh yeah. Oh, Maxwell. Ooh, there you go. Some nice black coffee. Pre-made. All right, so I'm going to throw some oil in it, and we'll take it from there. All right, well, the oil's in. I uh, just got to change the spark plug. There it goes right there. Uh, this thing here, ooh, wow. That was weird. Just broke the whole stem off. Wow, must have took a pretty hard fall. Look at that. Just snapped it right off. Well, anyway... This thing here wasn't too, too bad. It was a little bit followed up in the back end there. Um, so that thing's going. Uh, so we got the new RJ19 LM in there. Uh, that's pretty good. Get an alpha oil. We'll do a cranker up. Uh, I'm going to go on the other side. Don't think I need to use the choke because I just started up to drain the oil. So let's see what happens. I didn't put no my plow. I guess we do need to choke. Oh wait, gas is in there. Ha uh, ha Son of a bitch. Where's that gas line? There we go. Now we got gas flowing through it. Okay, gasoline in the carburetor. There we go. Now we got some gas. Alright, let's crank her up. Oh. That kind of sucked. It just tripped over the cord. All right, let's move this thing over a little bit. All right, let's try this again. All right, let's crank her up. CD is pretty much just about all buttoned up, um, putting the last little knobby piece on, right there. Uh, so the carburetor is pretty much all done. Um, so the only thing I'm waiting on now is just the belts. Uh, I gotta pick those up tomorrow. Um, actually, I probably stick this thing back on too. There's the there it goes on. Come on, what do you want to get in there? Anyway, we'll stick that thing on there, and that's probably the end of my night. Um, other than that, this thing's pretty much done. I uh, just gotta adjust those skid shoes, um, put the belts on, and that's it. This guy's pretty much out of here. Oh, I gotta put the bottom cover on too. Um, but this place is a freaking mess. Like I, I couldn't even find my spark plug wrench. It was that bad. Um, so usually Thursdays I clean it. I'll probably clean it up Thursday. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be working on the trailer probably. A uh, good full day on that thing. So, But yeah, things getting, I guess we'll call this episode uh, MTD Repair uh, Part 1.5. <laughs> Even though it's supposed to be like a two-part episode, but whatever. I guess I never thought of the 5.5. So... Alright, hope everyone has a good night. Um, see ya.